I feel like it would be a cry to let a big Kenny match go uncommentated. So here I am going to try and commentate. Uh, oh. Um, yeah, let me see who's pro. Oh, okay, there we go. Snake, Wario. Kind of a classic brawl matchup. Just now, a decade later. I believe they just uh, jump into the PSDM. So I feel like Kenny actually plays Snake a lot differently than a majority of the Snakes in Michigan. I feel like he, he's, he's a little bit more in your face and aggressive. And he kind of goes for uh, questionable plays that, that seem like they would work out. And we'll release one of the, uh, the first Warriors we had uh, in Michigan for Ultimate. And he's just, I feel like uh, Emerald Elise is being a little bit too aggressive. He's not really, like, worrying about uh, the, the explosions or, like, what Kenny wants to do. He's just kind of wanting to uh, beat that ass and beat it really fast. But he, he's definitely closing up the gap. It's only about 20% at this point. And, ooh, wow, that looked like a sour spot up until it's still killed. Snake's up tilt, still bonkers. I'm upset. Oh, well. Is eating a grenade more beneficial than just letting it? I, I assume so. It was only like 3%. That didn't seem too bad. So I guess that might be one to play. But. Oh my gosh, okay. I respect the hustle. That was super cute. I feel like not enough people will actually go up there and challenge Snake. Like, I guess he could drop a C4, but if you already know there's one planted, go up there and uh, force an air dodge, force something out. But second stack isn't really going the way of uh, Emerald Elitist, even though this is kind of, that was almost looking like the first stock where he teched on a lot of percent at first and then he brought it back himself. So, but Big Kenny laughing uh, Emerald right now. I, I feel like, yeah, Emerald's just kind of being too aggressive and he's not picking his fights correctly. And, uh, ooh, 80% death, wow. Unfortunate thing is that was a, a roughly two minute waft, so he has to wait another two minutes to get the, I believe that was like second from last stage where more knockback, but no super armor kind of thing, so, and I don't think this match is gonna go on for another two minutes, so. Uh, but Emerald really brought that back, like, really hard. Waft is a, a saving grace sometimes. Big Kenny just keeping, a, keeping Emerald trapped at the ledge, and uh, I believe that might have shield poked. But that was, that, that was actually a really respectable game one. I feel like the way the Emerald release was kind of going about approaching the snake may have not been the most intuitive, but... There's a reason why I'm behind the computer and Emerald's out there playing. Again, it, it, it was pretty close. I think uh, if he just played a little bit slower, kind of weaved his way in, rather than butting heads would be beneficial. I, I, Oh, 
I'll turn them on. Oh, there we go. All right, so we have Emerald Elitus, uh, Wario versus, versus Big Kenny. Absolutely massive Kenny. I saw game one, and I was like, there's no way nobody's commentating this. He hit him with the 4th of July, bro. Dude, that <laughs> shield, poked shield poked the <laughs> yeah, fuck out of the water. shield poked him with it. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah, so this matchup, I don't really know much. It just looks explosive. Yeah. So Tweak has claimed that this war, uh, this matchup is uh, in Snake's favor. Really? Uh, mostly because he can camp out Wario really well. That's true. And Wario has like huge hitboxes, right? So a lot uh -huh. of times, you know, like Snake, like they like camping around grenades, and if you hit the grenades, they explode, they explode on you. Yeah. Yeah. So lots of Wario's combos also start out start with that nair, which crosses up on shield, which is normally a really good like you know way to mix people up. But when he's when he's pulled a grenade and he's just sitting in shield, yeah, then Snake like doesn't, doesn't care. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And look at that. That's like a lot percent yeah. from just like hitting like, grenades. Two grenades. He also blew up the C4. In the middle of that. That was Loki, like super sick. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny's movement, bro. Yeah, he's he'll, moving a lot on that one PS2 platform. It's insane. He'll like do these like jumps like into you, facing away, and then pull pull a grenade. Yeah. <laughs> and then face toward you as he lands. It's insane. Yeah, it's like a good mix up because when you when he puts that C4 on the platform, you think like, yeah. oh, he's just gonna land off, and then he like he B reverses the grenades back onto it. Yup. Another thing Kenny's really good at is like what he tried to go for right there. When he's getting juggled. He'll find a way, like, you're watching his character, you're trying to kill him, he'll just slip a C4, like, right, right next there. to him. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Good punish there, knowing he can just drop shield, turn around, and up tilt. Yep. So, optimal stuff. And Kenny with a two-stock lead. One of, these, uh, one of the hard things about fighting Snake is that sometimes you just can't hit him without trading. Yeah. And you have to accept that sometimes. Yeah, especially when you're, like, losing. What? Uh, that didn't break <laughs> armor though, because each hit of Wario did not do 15%. Wait, something. I like that though. I was a big fan of that one. All right. with the back air, but at falling up air waft, and then we got a kind of even game. Yes, kind of even. Kind of even. But you're gonna have to trade with Snake <laughs> yeah. a lot. Yeah, and you gotta get to him because he's he's Jesus dipping now. <laughs> you don't have to play this game. It's very hard to come back. Uh, from a stock deficit versus Snake because he's like one of those characters that is like literally a one stock character. Yeah. So if you're down a stock, you're you're working for that. Uh, yeah. It's also like even when you get openings when you're down, you gotta be like either airtight on your combos or like just able to track his movement very well because if you're like not true with anything, he'll just blow himself out and get out. Yep. And perfect pummel into yeah. the 160. That's the percent. Down throw up so Big Kenny is moving on. Big movement. Okay. I'm probably going to go and see if I can warm.